Very good. I'm glad you stopped behind the line. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not sure what to do at signal lights sometimes. There's a lot to watch for. Here are the basics. It's legal to enter an intersection on a green or yellow light. Yellow simply warns you that the light is about to turn red. When you see the light turn yellow, stop if there's enough time to do so safely. It's not legal to enter the intersection after the light turns red. When the light turns green, cross traffic that entered on a yellow light may still be in the intersection. Wait until any vehicles or pedestrians are out of the way before you proceed. Besides signal lights, there are turn arrows. Green arrows indicate a protected turn. That means other traffic stops for you. After checking that cross traffic and pedestrians have cleared the intersection, you can turn when the light is green. If there is no arrow, obey the signal light and wait for oncoming traffic to clear before proceeding. If you have a green arrow on a right turn, again, you have the right of way. You do not need to stop if the intersection is clear and it is safe to turn, even if the lights for the through direction are red. At most intersections, you can make a right turn on a red light after making a complete stop. Stop behind the line first, then slowly pull ahead to check for traffic. This is also true for multiple lane right turns. Be sure to remain in the same lane you start from. Sometimes you cannot turn right on a red light. Whenever there's a sign or a red turn arrow, wait for a green light before turning right. A few other things you should know about signal lights. Flashing yellow lights means slow down but don't stop. Watch for cars on either side and enter cautiously. Flashing red lights or no lights at all, as in a power outage, are the same as a stop sign controlled intersection. Be sure you come to a complete stop and follow the same right of way rules. In congested traffic, make sure you can get all the way through the intersection before entering. You can get a ticket if you block traffic in an intersection after the light in your direction turns red. Why don't we turn right up ahead? Okay. I'll have to move over to the right lane first. I'm glad you checked your mirrors. But don't forget to look over your shoulder. There's a blind spot on each side of the car that doesn't show up in the mirrors. To change lanes safely, put your turn indicator on first. Then, check your mirror in the direction you want to go. Next, look over your shoulder in the same direction. If it's clear, then ease over into the next lane. Follow this pattern every time you change lanes, including center turn lanes, bike lanes, leaving the curb, and merging into another lane when your lane ends. Whenever you make a lane change, traffic already in that lane has the right of way. And be sure to change lanes one lane at a time. What should I do for this right turn? First, use your signal and start to slow down. Look over your right shoulder for bicycles or motorcycles and then move into the bike lane when it's clear. Scan to the left and right, then make your turn when it's safe. On left turns, signal, look over your left shoulder and move into the left center turn lane first if there is one. Then, make your turn when it's safe. If only one lane can turn left in your direction, you can choose any lane to end your turn in. If there are two or more designated turn lanes, then stay in the lane you started in. For right turns, stay in the lane you start in whether there's one or more designated turn lanes. Oops, I missed the turn. Not a problem. Let's make a U-turn. Okay. I'm never sure when that's legal. There's a few do's and don'ts. 
Make sure you have good visibility to see traffic ahead of you. In residential areas or where signs are posted, you can make a U-turn anytime it's safe. Business districts and divided highways require you to be a little more selective. U-turns are okay in these areas as long as there's an intersection or a place to turn and no signs prohibit. In addition to places that are posted for no U-turns, it's also illegal to make a U-turn whenever you'd have to cross a curb, a strip of land, double-double lines, or when you're in front of a fire station. There's some pedestrians up ahead. Yeah, it looks like they want to cross. I'd better stop. I'm proud of you. Pedestrians have the right-of-way at crosswalks and at intersections, marked or unmarked. If you see a person who looks like they want to cross, you should stop. Once they step off the curb, you must stop. And be careful when you see a car stopped at a crosswalk. Someone you can't see may be crossing. There's a few other right-of-way situations you should know about. When an emergency vehicle has its lights on, you must move to the far right side of the road and stop. If you are already in an intersection, continue through and then pull to the right and stop as soon as you can. Emergency vehicles often use the wrong side of the road to continue, so stay stopped until it is passed. Then it's a lane change, so signal, check your mirrors, and look over your shoulder. When it's safe, pull into the driving lane again. School buses with flashing red lights mean that children are exiting the bus and you are required to stop no matter what side of the road you are on. If you are on the opposite side of a raised barrier, this does not apply. Why don't we stop for a bite to eat? Sounds good. There's a place up ahead. Where's a good place to park? The color of the curb is important. White is for loading or unloading passengers. Yellow is for loading passengers or freight. Green is for limited time parking. Blue is only for persons with a disabled placard or license plate. Red is no parking or stopping anytime. Don't park if there is a no parking sign, in front of a fire hydrant, in an intersection, on a crosswalk, a sidewalk, in front of a driveway, near a railroad track, or on the wrong side of the street. Oh, finally, here's a spot. I thought we'd never find one. But remember, you are parking on a hill. To be sure your car doesn't roll into the street if the brakes fail or someone hits you, follow these rules. If you're going downhill, turn your front wheels into the curb or toward the side of the road. If you're going uphill, turn the front wheels away from the curb and roll back until the wheels gently touch the curb. If there is no curb, whether you're parking uphill or downhill, turn your wheels so the car will roll away from the center of the road. Always set the brake. So, how's the strip coming? I'm just taking some notes so I don't forget anything. You've been pretty quiet back there. Oh, I've got lots of good footage. It's gonna be hard to fit this all into one video. Well, there's more. You mean we haven't covered everything? We've gone over the main rules of the road, but examiners also look at what you do while you're driving. Driving behavior is a part of what determines the outcome of the test. Can you show us that too? We've already started. You're showing us something right now? It's important never to drive while you're tired or if you're impaired for any reason. You've been on the road a long time. I can tell you needed a break. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go for a drive. Scanning is one of the most important driving techniques. There are lots of things you need to be aware of. Pedestrians, lane markings, road signs, other vehicles, and hazards. 
always look in different directions to see what's around you. Look for everything. Lane markings provide some information, but road signs are important too. Wow, there's a lot to take in. Makes me a little nervous. Don't worry. Good scanning actually gives you more control. You can be more confident that you have time to see what's going on and react quickly to changes. When you look ahead, look 10 to 15 seconds down the road. That lets you see potential hazards while you still have plenty of time to react. You're looking into your future while you still have time to do something about it. Looking side to side lets you know where other cars are around you. You never know when you might need a way out to avoid an accident. At intersections, check for side traffic. Just because you have the right of way doesn't mean that other people will always stop. And when you slow down, check to make sure that the person behind you sees that you're slowing down. If they don't, it's better to miss your turn than be involved in a collision. One of the best ways to avoid an accident is to let other drivers know what you're going to do before you do it. Use your turn signals every time you make a turn, merge into traffic, change lanes, or pull out from a curb. Signal about five seconds ahead of time. When making a turn, be careful not to put your signal on too soon, especially if there's an intersection or driveway between you and where you're going to turn. Someone might think you're turning sooner than you really are. Likewise, don't pull out in front of a car just because its signal is on. It may be turning beyond you, or the driver may have forgotten to turn the signal off. Freeway merging can be difficult, or quite simple. The trick is to accelerate to match the speed of traffic that you're merging into. Be sure you signal, check your mirror, and look over your shoulder. Look for an open space. If you're going at or near the speed of traffic, it's usually not too hard to pull ahead or move back to merge into an open space. <laughs> You look a little tense. I don't think the guy in front of me knows what he's doing. If you keep a safe following distance, you'll feel more comfortable, that you're in control, so you can enjoy the drive. Okay, how far should I be? Try the three second rule. Pick out a mark on the road up ahead, like a sign or a guardrail. Wait for the car in front of you to cross, then count. 1001, 1002, 1003. If you get to three before you pass the mark, then there's usually enough room between you and the other car. The nice thing about the three second rule is it works at any speed. However, when visibility is poor or the road is wet, then increase the count to four or five seconds. <sighs> oh yes, much better.